LeBron James is known for the crazy hoops and dunks he makes on the court and also the trophies he wins. But what exactly does he do off the court? Well, he spends his millions on the craziest things, like diamond shoes. But we'll get to that later. Here are the biggest purchases LeBron James has ever made. The Gold Nike Jordans Way back in 2018, in the game between the Cavaliers and the Spurs, LeBron James made his shoot by scoring his 30,000th career point. So, the Cavaliers sponsors Nike decided to congratulate him with a one-of-one one diamond and gold LeBron sneaker, made of real crocodile skin, and finished with 24 karat gold. And since there was only one pair which was ever going to be made, they were made in LeBron's shoe size, which is 15 if you didn't know. And uh, did I mention that gold wasn't the only commodity on his feet because they were also encrusted with diamond shoelace tips and also some diamond stones and the zippers. And if that wasn't enough, it also came with a gold chain. Just to make LeBron feel special, you know. And if you're wondering why you've never seen him put them on, well, I can't blame him for not wearing them. Because they cost over $100,000 just to make. So if I was LeBron, I wouldn't want to get mud on my gold shoes either. But I know what you're thinking. 100k is probably lunch money for his kids. So we'll be moving on to the bigger stuff. Like Mr. J's watch collection. And well, I'm sure that you know that LeBron James is no stranger at Rolex. That's why the Los Angeles Laker has three gold Rolexes, each costing five figures. But our boy didn't stop with three Rollies, nah nah nah. He had to get himself three other Audemars Piquets, a Richard Mill, and two Patek Philippe's, giving him a grand total of about $900,000 in watches alone. But... Guess what? It gets better, because this next watch costs more than all of those other watches combined. He spent six and a half million on a Tiffany Paddock Philippe. It's one of the rarest watches out there, and only a handful of people own the piece. People like Jay-Z, Saudi Princess, and that one guy that's dating Kim Kardashian's mom, who nobody ever remembers the name of. So the next time you're alone, I just want you to know that LeBron's wrist cost more than your house, your car, and your pension combined. And if that wasn't enough, he got a Richard Mille 703 automatic. And this doesn't even need batteries because it's charged by aggressive physical activity. So LeBron can charge it up just by playing ball. And uh, oh, did I mention it cost nearly $400,000? So it even costs more than a Lamborghini Urus. And well, we know LeBron James is a big collector when it comes to watches, and the same can be said for his cars, as LeBron James started car shopping way before he even got his first contract. At age 18, he already got himself a 50k armor, and that was just a start, because when the real money started coming in, he decided to add a Jeep Wrangler to the collection. And I think this guy's a Transformers fan, because he followed it up with a 70k Chevy Camaro, which Bumblebee would definitely approve of. But I know what you're thinking. These cars are nice and all, but where are the real sports cars? The ones that all the other ballers drive. Well, LeBron was trying to be humble until 2009. Back when LeBron James still played for the Cavaliers, he gained a friendship with former teammate Shaquille O'Neal, who is known for buying crazy stuff like a 50k fish tank. But that's not what we're talking about today. Because on LeBron's 25th birthday, his good friend decided to get him a brand new 400k Rolls Royce Phantom. Talk about friendship. Aww. But after Shaq's kind gift, LeBron knew there was no going back, so he had to up his car game a whole lot. Like when he got himself a custom wrapped Lamborghini Aventador with an entry price of $200,000, a Bentley Continental, a Porsche 911, and if that wasn't enough, he got himself not one, not two, but three Ferraris. I'm sure you're wondering, since LeBron James has so many cars, where's he gonna put them all? Well, LeBron is a mini addition for buying overpriced mega mansions, dating back to 2003 when he got drafted. Because in his rookie year, LeBron decided that he was gonna get himself a 30,000 square foot mansion in Ohio. And this house is on a whole nother level. Not only does it have six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, if one isn't enough, it also has a bowling alley and a movie theater 
for him to watch cash flow on so what are you still doing subscribe to cash flow for some more money content baby remember i told you about shaq's fish tank well lebron decided he was gonna up the game a little bit by getting a full aquarium in the house and when lebron wants to listen to music well he has a full recording studio when he wants to bring out his inner rapper he even has his own custom barbershop in there. Man, I don't know about you, but if it was me, I would never ever leave the house. Me too, kid. So it's no wonder that this shopping mall of a home cost LeBron over $9 million. But in 2010, LeBron signed with the Miami Heat. So he had to move to Miami, meaning he had to go house hunting yet again. Luckily for LeBron, he found himself by the $9 million mansion and man, this house is a palace. It is a full-on cellar, a rooftop deck, an infinity pool, and an island bar when LeBron feels spicy. And not to mention, it has an entire guest house, which looks bigger than most people's houses do. But sadly, LeBron would eventually have to move again because he ended up signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. So he had to get himself a $21 million home. And remember how I called the first house a shopping mall? Well, this one actually is, because it has its own elevator. But you know how they say the more the merrier? Well, that's true for LeBron, as he got another mansion just a few blocks away. This time the house cost him 24 million. But it's in Beverly Hills where he really spent the most amount of money on a home, by buying a 37 million dollar home, giving him the total value of 100 million dollars in houses alone. I mean guys, this dude's got more zeros than my algebra homework. But well, a hundred million isn't something that you can just easily come by. And LeBron knows that very well. That's why in 2011, he needed something that was gonna multiply his money ASAP. And when he found out that an average soccer team can cost over $2 billion, yes, billion with a B, he decided he wanted in on all the action. So he made a call to film a sports group, the owners of Liverpool FC, and bought himself a 2% stake in the company for six and a half million dollars and i think bro could see the future because in 2020 his two percent ownership was now worth over 82 million dollars and lebron james was so happy with the success he wanted to repeat it so he went back to Fumi sports for another deal but this time for their baseball team the boston red sox so in 2021 he bought a one percent stake of the team for 70 million dollars meaning mr big money has 150 million dollars in sports teams alone no wonder he has a net worth of 1 billion dollars but at least he has some really cool stuff but i can't say the same for the celebrities on this video i mean one of them even bought a gold bathtub aka mike tyson so subscribe for a free cookie and i'll do a push up for every like this video gets